Hello, my name is Louise Milicevic. I am I'm a person with, with a disability. I use, use a walking stick and from time to time would use a wheelchair. Um, I'm a married mother of two young children, so not only do I have to take into consideration accessibility needs, my own accessibility needs, but also accessibility um, where, where they're concerned in terms of buggies and prams, etc. Um, I live in, in Newbridge and County Kildare and in my, within my daily life I would have um, I suppose I would have would have use um, would have access or would have to access a, a, an historic site on a daily basis in terms of my, my work or my office. But I remember one occasion when we did have a meeting in the accessible meeting room and um, the issue was um, basically during the course of the meeting the lift broke down and then trying to get me down the stairs there's no handrail there's only one handrail on the the on the stair the staircase going up and I need to have handrails on both sides that's very important for me if I have to use stairs however there's no handrail on my good side coming down so and there were they're extremely narrow steps anyway which I would have great difficulty with um, so the end result was that one of my colleagues that's actually carry me down the stairs, which in a work situation really isn't, you know, appropriate. The meeting rooms themselves, they're, they're, it's, as I said, it's an old listed building, so they have these very nice, ornate um, doorknobs on the, um, on, the, on, the, on the doors, which look lovely, but they're, they're a nightmare for somebody with a dexterity issue, because you have to turn and twist, and it's, it's, it's to get the door open, and it's very difficult. One time in a national park, whereby they had um, they had these across the boardwalks. They had a wooden boardwalk, and it they actually had the, the gaps in between the planks weren't uniform, and I ended up falling. Um, my stick went down through the gaps in the uh, in the in the wood, fell into the water below. Meanwhile, my husband was with my do pushing my daughter a little way way ahead, and he had to come back try and assist me up with try and retrieve my walking stick from the water and all the time try and calming down a, a crying child so it's it's those kind of things that you 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 nearly have to to do a lot of research do a lot of homework beforehand so that you're you're going to have an enjoyable family day when you go to these places but they have to be accessible and they have to be safe for you and 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 your and the children as well big issue for me is the is the distance from maybe my car to the entrance of, 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 a, of a building um, because it takes me, I, I generally find the, access, the accessible entrance is a far greater distance than um, maybe the, the main entrance is and for somebody with an ambulant disability you have to factor that in. By the time I get to the accessible entrance am I going to be too exhausted to actually enjoy what this premises or what this service has to offer?